Hello everybody, welcome back, Rumbler here. And yeah, today we'll be having a look at the second log that I got from the amazing John Log. John, thank you really much again for these great logs. Super great that you brought them from the States. And today we were having a look on the smart key padlock. Um, it's from Quickset and yeah, this is the keyway. What does the packaging tell us? Um, yeah, uh, pick resistant, yeah, we will we'll see. And bump proof, pick resistant. Yeah, it's a quite a nice product. Also, the, it's quite heavy actually. So I guess for physical hardness, yeah, it might be actually quite good. Um, for picking, also it has some tricks up its sleeve. So um, yeah, I, unfortunately I cannot get this lock um, because I would need to drill out some parts here and I won't do that because I want to keep it like that. Um, but for the insights, you can basically look up my, my video on the generation two I picked earlier. And um, also I would recommend a video from Charles who does the, the lock spot cast. And I will put this video link up here and in the video description. So really go check out how you can bypass these generation three uh, quick set smart key locks. So the problem with these is um, in general, the, the quick set um, smart key is a sidebar mechanism. So in here sits a sidebar which blocks the rotation of the lock core. And once you align all pins to the right height, um, the sidebar can drop in and the lock opens. Mm. And with generation one and two, you were able to just tension it and the pins bind just as normal and you can pick it. Mm. The problem is here with the generation three, the sidebar is not rounded off, but it's quite squarish one. And um, as soon as you turn the, on the core, it will not be pushed inside towards the, the pins and this or the sliders, but um, actually it will um, it will just block on the housing and it will not it just will block the rotation and will not be pushed into the sliders, so to say. Yeah, um, <laughs> just repeating myself, but that's just how it is. So you need to find a different way. And the, the way usually people do it is by just inserting a tool here and pushing actively on the sidebar. And with that trick, if you can get it in here, um, the pin starts binding. And now actually pin one is binding. And yeah, so the hardest part I would say for picking this lock is actually designing your tool. and. Um, I will pick it in a vise in a moment and let me show you my, my tool first. Uh, maybe let's get a white background so you can see what it is. So basically this is just a, a broken off pick, the PN06. So it's 0 0.6 millimeters in, in thickness. And yeah, just the normal multi-pick shaft width or so. So here in the tip, which actually will go in the lock, it's just above, uh, just a bit more than one millimeters, maybe 1.6. Mm. And the way you, you insert it is, um, so I bent also the tip a bit, and here I followed the, the advice that Charles gave in his video. Really like the, the tip has to be a bit pointy. Um, the way I did it was just clamp it in the vise and then give it a, some wax with a hammer to get it around the corner and get a nice um, bended tip and also just bend the whole thing a little bit. And then you insert it in a very steep angle and yeah, like this maybe. And once you have it inside there, a few millimeters, actually, it's, it doesn't need to go much in there. 
you should feel the pins binding and if you're not feeling that you're wrong somewhere wrong so you need to realign and now I'm in the right spot and the pins bind um, actually I don't know if this is a perfect material maybe something thinner would be better because this gives quite a lot of tension on the sidebar and um, when I pick it I actually need to um, pull it out a bit from time to time just to release a bit of tension and then um, push it in further for the next pin and so on but you will see that in a moment when I put this in a vise um, maybe to everybody else who doesn't know the, the quick set system um, what is nice about this system is you can just um, change the keys and you can do that basically from this open the lock and then you push that in you feel some spring tension then you can actually remove the key put in another key close the lock back up and now I've changed the working key and the other one will not be working anymore so to see the insides really look up um, one of my videos or the wrong from Charles for example which is also great so yeah let's get picking so welcome back in the vise um, got it currently set up to this bidding I hope yep. so Lock it back up and now insert the tensioner. This is a tricky part. Oh, here it starts getting tricky. Let's try to get it in between the sidebar. And I think we're there. Let's see. Yep, they bind super hard now. And yeah, I don't want to break my pick or so. so I have to release a bit of tension by just wiggling it out carefully. So carefully pulling out the tension and testing the pins in the same time. One and two are binding tightly and yeah, pins in the back are not binding right now. So I'm pulling it out a bit and then testing again. Nope. Not able to push down the pins. So now it just slipped right out, but yeah, still binding. So we're good. Pull it out even further. Hmm. Okay, you know I have to be really careful just to not pull it out too much. Yeah, maybe like here. So I could move pin one a bit now. I feel still set, not set, still binding. So let's pull out once more. And try to push a bit more on it. Okay, now two is binding and again I need to release a bit of the pressure by pulling out the tensioner a bit. Just a hair though. And it was too much already, I dropped one. Again, working on two. Okay, one is set, two is set. Now three. Let's see, test once more. One is fine. Two is also fine. So three is either, no, it's binding. 
it's not set so I have to release tension again a bit yep got it now four is not binding so I need to push in a bit let's check again one is happy two is happy three is happy Oh, that's four, which is happy now. Let's check five. Got the angle a bit wrong. Five is happy, four is happy, three is happy, two is happy, and one is happy. So now it should be open. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so in order to open it, you need to pull out the tensioner. And here we are. Quick set, smart key, generation three, picked. And yeah, the nice thing is that you really can just go from front to back with this method. So super easy, you always know which pin is binding. Um, Unfortunately, I cannot gut it. For that, I would have to drill out here this, this pin or so. But I hesitated to do that yet. So if you want to see the, the insides of this lock, go check out Charles' video. He's uh, doing a great job in explaining all the mechanics and so on. And yeah, in, in my video uh, where I picked the generation two or one, um, I already explained also the innards and I think the most difference between generation 2 and 3 is just the not rounded of sidebar so yeah go check out all these videos to see the insights of this I will not gut it and yeah but anyhow thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next video have a great day and just look and pick up.